Good afternoon, folks. Uh, this is an update on my video on my, my solar system. Uh, at this point in time, this is 10th of October 2016, and um, the upgrade has finally been done on the system. Uh, mounted the solar panels, uh, 1,800 uh, watts, uh, 300 watts Yingli solar panel. I'm currently using uh, a Flexmark fan uh, charge controller. It's uh, 80 amps. That's what I'm using. Uh, the system at this point in time is uh, floating. See charge. Uh, we have good sunshine today, and um, it's great. Um, presently, what I have here is a. Uh, combined box uh, with an SPD, a midnight SPD, it's a midnight combined box. Uh, what I have inside, I have uh, three strings of uh, 600 uh, watts panel each, uh, making uh, 1,800. Uh, what we have, each breaker is 15 amps, and I have three of them. It's split into two, so which means I could actually combine another charge controller with this particular uh, combiner box. Save space, uh, time, money. Um, that's that. I plan to do that in the very near future. Um, so my battery bank is um, 800 amp hour. It's still the same, still remains the same. Uh, batteries are in great shape. I added a couple of components to it. I did add the desulfator. Uh, this particular desulfator is battery extra by a company in the UK and this can take up to a 1500 amp hour bank. Um, it was recommended by Justin, just in case. And um, I do have here a device too uh, which um, does balancing of a battery. When you have more than one battery in suit, there's always a tendency for one battery to drive the other because two batteries are not exactly the same so we put this device there and what it does it actually shuns down the higher one and balances the voltage so because I have four strings I do have four of these actually in the system that's for the first string uh, that's for the second string this is for the third string and lastly this is for the fourth string uh, my system is connected together um, in series parallel um, and everything runs on a bus bar. I have two copper bus bars, one for positive, one for negative. Uh, that's where I feed everything onto uh, the batteries, pick everything. And the cables are actually connected together in wire that. So you have the connecting cables are equal lengths. Uh, they're Temco 3 slash 0 cable, welding cables. So these are very great cables. You know. It runs cool every time. It's uh, 95 mm square. If I'm correct, yes, uh, if memory starts me right. And with that, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, my batteries have been over a year now, and I'm very, very particular about my batteries because they're very expensive right now. The batteries are really, really expensive now, so uh, you gotta take good care of them. Mm. Uh, this is the inverter. I must have seen in my first video. That's a Power Star 700 inverter. I had some issues some time back, uh, I think due to a defect, but it's been fixed now, I had to change the power board. But uh, since that has been running smoothly, I don't have a problem with it, it's, it's cool. And, um, and that's it for now. Um, these are the wiring to have uh, 300 amps, DC fuse, um, that's a charger, that's an input charger. Right now, I turned off the bridge. Uh, because that's a grid, uh, we have an issue with the grid, the grid is going at uh, 197, it's a little bit low, so we're going to charge it via the uh, uh, solar right now. At this point in time, that's the output of the inverter. Uh, that's what we're using, about 716, 780 watts uh, right now. And at this point in time, this is our, uh, the output of the PV. See, this is what we're producing at this point in time. 650 is very. Uh, 
this actually monitors the same thing uh, the uh, charge controllers do. Well, actually, what this monitors, it monitors the uh, input coming from the PV, input voltage, and the input current, the input power, and the total energy used. Uh, what you have with the charge controller here, and as you can see, we're having about 70 volts. Uh, input to the current is uh, from the two amps. Output is for the cell so phone five and then we have half a point of fifty something. So it's a very one point five right now. That's great. Uh because I have a power capacity is one point eight. That's really great. That's really really great. Uh plans we actually do not upgrade a couple of panels to the system. the breakers I have two breakers here 80 amps breaker I have this is for, for the PV for the combiner box to the charge controller it's an 80 amp DC uh, circuit breaker uh, uh, this other one is another 80 amps it's going from the combine the, the charge controller to the battery bank that's what we have in here so uh, with with this, I actually I'm using a shunt system to connect. That's it. Uh, that's the shunt that I have connected to it. Um, so that actually allows me to actually measure what I have there. And it's great. And, um, as you can see, I'm doing that. connected together uh, using sorry for that a stack uh, everything's connected into that um, that's a critical load panel um, that's all we're using to feed the house so the critical loads are actually spread uh, to that it's a six-way uh, circuit breaker system it controls the lightning and all the other things um, we, we have this here. This is actually an input um, uh, stabilizer unit or AVR system. It's actually for the grid and what it does is uh, it stabilizes the voltage at 230 or 220 as, um, percent on it. So with this we have um, constant uh, voltage coming into the house. And this is actually important when we're using the grid to charge the um, battery bank uh, because if the voltage drops 
to 197 or there about the, um, the charging system when the inverter doesn't kick in. But right now with solar, um, you know, that helps a lot, you know. So that's that. But, um, um, these are some of the devices we have on the inverter. Okay, to see right now. You can see what we have. It's running on the inverter right now. Uh, by the way, that's an indicator light for the grid. So it's not an inverter, that's an indicator light. So, uh, you can see the refrigerator. Okay. And this is the deep freezer. And it's first. Frosty in there, yeah. So that's uh, that's that for now. Um, and let's go back to the uh, uh, inverter room and check out the production. Uh, what we're having right now is about a little bit, a little bit. I'm really impressed by these corners. I'm really impressed. I'm getting about one point. I think I've hit the maximum, I've seen 1.6 kilowatts a day. That's quite impressive. Uh, I do have a 1.8 um, kilowatt panel up there on the roof. And I saw 1.7 now. Yeah. But I know I'm with them, they'll get to that. So basically that's the first uh, update and going on the uh, solar part of the uh, of my inverter. I think this uh, comes in handy. I will do in uh, a couple of upgrades um, in the very near future. And very soon I will do some upgrades and uh, I'll keep you updated. Thanks everyone. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.